Hey there, hi there, hello everyone. Narjan here, in this video I'm going to be showing the ins and outs of fighting Riftstalker, which includes the best sovereign weapon to use, its attacks, what parts are to break well, and some other info. So without further ado, let's begin. Riftstalker is an Umbral Behemoth, so the best weapon element against it would be Radiant, and for armor, Umbral will be strongest. When it comes to weapons, if I had to choose one it would be the Pike, the main reason being that it can interrupt Riftstalker without having to get close. Yes, Chain Blades, Aether Striker, and Axes can do the same thing, but they're way less forgiving if you miss. The first one is the Swipe Attack. The second one is the 360 Spin Attack. The third one is a triple tail swipe attack. However, this one does not do any damage. I don't know if it's a glitch or a bug or something, but I'm not complaining. The first one is as it enters its aether charge state. There will be a small explosion, and then after it enters and exits several portals, it will land on the ground, causing another explosion. The second one is where it enters a portal, and then whichever direction you're facing is where it will appear, doing either a lunge attack or a double tail swipe attack. The third one is where it pulls you into an umbral dimension and then two portals will appear from which either clones of Riftstalker will launch out of or umbral orbits will shoot out from. Later on in the fight, the portals will increase to 3 and then to 4 before hitting a max of 5. The fourth one is where Riftstalker will summon a row of six portals that will shoot out umbral orbs. The fifth one is where it enters a portal in the ground and then it will pop out of the ground in front of you before diving back down into a portal. It usually does this three to four times before ending with a somersault attack. The sixth one is a spin attack. The seventh one is a ground slam that causes a small explosion. It has one, and it will create two portals and charge up its speed by falling through them over and over. Similar to the game Portal. It will then shoot out from a random portal, spinning, and if it hits you, it will do a lot of damage. Well, that's a lot of damage! The first one is a lunge attack it does when coming out of a portal. The second, third, and fourth one are while you're in the Umbral Dimension. Depending on how many portals there are, dictate which one it will be, and depending on the attacks prior, will tell you which one it will be. I'll list the ones I remember. The second one is where it leaps out of a portal and looks around, giving you a window of a couple seconds. I found this one to only happen when there are two portals, and before Riftstalker does it, two clones will lunge out of the portals. The third one is where it pops out of a portal halfway. This one can happen no matter how many portals there are. But only when there are 5 portals is it the easiest to tell Riftstalker is about to do it. Every single portal begins to glow, and it always pops out from the second portal in on the right side. The fourth one is where it lunges out of a portal and does a swipe attack. This one seems to happen only when there are more than 2 portals, and when it comes to being able to tell when it does it, this one has the most variance, which makes it difficult to predict. This guy has three. You can get it from its head, limbs, and tail. Riftstalker is one of the behemoths that moves around the most, but it also uses its interruptible moves a lot, so make sure to take advantage of that. Riftstalker is almost always in an Aether Charge state, so I highly suggest you use a Defense Cell Aether Hunter. 
If you dodge through the first Tailspin attack it does as it exits the portal, the second one will not do any damage. Before Riftstalker pulls you into the Umbral Dimension, there's a window of a few seconds to put some damage in. Have you seen the purple bubbly liquid that appears during certain attacks? Yeah, don't walk through it or else it will cause corruption status, which deals damage over time and slows down your speed until you attack Riftstalker. Oh, and you can also get it from touching the walls of the Umbral Dimension. No touchy. No touch. The easiest way to avoid the barrage of Umbral Orbs that shoot out from the six portals is to just move so you're standing off to the side or behind them. During its second Aether Charge attack, you can tell whether it will be the Lunge attack or the Double Tailspin attack by how long it takes for Riftstalker to appear. During its Enrage attack and the fifth regular attack, you can avoid them by either standing behind a rock or on top of one. A ledge will also work. That's pretty much it. The next guy will be on Bloodfire Embermane, so if you don't want to miss it, give that subscribe button a little love tap and don't forget to turn notifications on. If you'd like to see an example of me fighting Riftstalker, stick around for some gameplay.
Alrighty, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I hope you guys have an amazing morning, afternoon, or night. Be seeing you in the next video and happy slaying!